Hi there viewers, David and Steen from Loaded 4x4 and Steen, I have in front of me what's got to be the world's sexiest looking tow bar. I reckon you're right David, so sexy I've got one on Trev the Triton. <laughs> of love course. It. Love it, one Compliment of the first ones nicely. actually. Yeah. I mean look at it, it just exudes quality, there's, there's no hard edges, the welds are just beautiful. The, the thought that's gone into this tow bar is unbelievable and we'll, we'll run you through it now what the, the advantages of this tow bar are, are over anything else out there. And we should probably at this point introduce yep. who it's come from. Exactly. So Milford Industries make this in South Australia. So we've had the benefit of going down to Milford and having a look at their facility. Yep, fantastic place. Big, and big factory where they're still making stuff in South Australia. It's and fantastic. lots of big machines, yep. lots of sparks, yep. lots of people yep. walking around. Yep. And, lots of and, bright sparks as yeah. well coming out with this sort of thing. Unlike us too. <laughs> exactly. Well, maybe, maybe you, not me. Um, we have uh, this kit that they've supplied us and it comes with an array of, of bits and pieces. So do you want to talk me through it? Yep, so this is obviously the ultimate next gen tow bar from Milford. And that's a point we need to yep. make, it's called the Ultimate, so you can't forget that name, Ultimate tow bar. So what you get, and it all comes in a box which we'll show you later, is this crossbar with the receiver there. You get a hitch, a couple of end plates, what else have we got down there, Dave? What's down your side? Uh, well, there's some hardware, fixings. of there's, course. There's aircraft grade fixings. One of those chrome, chrome ball. balls. And some really interesting gear here. So this is their Hitch Hush system. One hitch of the Hush. Hitch Hush. And what's its job? So let's, I'll try and get this fitted while we can chat. Let's roll that over. So what's its job? This keeps the hitch hushed. <laughs> of course. So you don't, uh, you don't, you don't, you don't get a rattling, you yeah, don't get a rattling hitch with this, with this So over. ordinarily, you'd have the, the hitch or the lug in the receiver. And yep. just with the pin through it, it'd be wrapping around a camera. So there's always, these, these never fit, but they do on this bar, they fit really well. And they've actually designed it to fit quite well. Right. So this is all fabricated to have a, as little room as possible between the hitch and the inside of the receiver. Right. So it won't, shouldn't rattle too much, yep. but the hitch hush. Drop it in. Fixes all of the rattles. So if we roll that back like that, there you go. And we've got this poly material yeah, in so here. So it puts a bit of pressure on the, on the hitch. Positive pressure. And uh, stops it all rattling. Right, well that's, that's good because I just happen to have an old style hitch. Yeah, let's take a look at the difference in these hitches because this is incredible. That's so that's a drop hitch Man, that I've that used. that is an old one. Yeah. Where would you get that from? I reckon that goes back to Defender days. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, this is probably a family heirloom, uh, 25, 30 years old. But this one is a drop hitch and have a look at it. I mean, it's just cruddy. We've got the reinforcing around the outside there. It's just a bit of bent steel that's been welded really badly. Probably illegal these days. Yeah, it probably is. I have to yeah. tell you though, I've towed with some enormous loads yeah. on this thing, so probably by uh, the grace of God I managed to <laughs> sneak through to the keeper on that one. Um, so yeah, um, this, this begs the question, I'm looking at this and I've got a painted by the look of it surface here, what's the gear that's on this? So this is Milford's, coated with Milford's Armatex high-tech anti-corrosion finish. Sounds sexy. It does sound sexy, like the tow bar. Yeah. And uh, it's apparently 650 times more ma resistant than regular satin powder coating. And so, I remember them telling us a little bit of a story about yeah. that powder coating that everybody else uses, this, this stuff. Yeah, the they use polyester. Yeah. Isn't polyester something you use in a blouse? Well, it used to be, yeah. Why would you use? What do you know about blouses? <laughs> I've had a bit of practice with that, but uh, I don't know anything I, about blouses. But I reckon Armatex has got to be a whole lot stronger than <laughs> polyester. It just doesn't sound right. Well, it's stronger than a blouse, isn't it? Correct, it, it, correct. So let's talk about the hitch, the all-important business end of the, the tow bar. The sexy hitch. That's the one. Okay, so comparing it to your old hitch here, which is just a bent lump of steel, yep. and plenty of hitches are still made that way, they most are. of them are. This is the only one that's a fabricated hitch, so it's three pieces, um, beautifully fabricated, welded, and a bit of a work of art, to be honest. Yeah, you can see that they've gone to a hell of a lot of trouble. And I remember when we were doing the factory tour that I saw the laser cutting that was going on on the bench. Yeah. So big sheets of steel cut up into these yeah. intricate shapes. And what have we got going on here? What's, what's the well, story of this They're the end plate. One? So they, they lock in. You might be able to slip one in over there. They come in off your chassis. So your chassis rail's up here. You just drop in like yeah, so. Yeah, pulled up to your chassis rail. Yeah. The crossbar plugs in there. So if you were... And basically, a... it basically holds it in. So those, those cutouts... Yeah on both sides, we'll hold this cross, crossbar in. And, you, you know, I'm a pretty amateur. Without the bolts. I'm a pretty big amateur yeah. with the spanners. I reckon even I, as a DIYer. Super easy to fit, could, and they've designed this whole bar to be fitted by DIYers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that just locates that end, end plate in there yeah. beautifully and yep. gets us up into the chassis ready to go yep. for the, the full connection. Yep. Now, the other thing too is that Milford scan all these vehicles 
so they receive a vehicle in, scan yeah. all the locating points so that they can get the most seamless and streamlined installation. Yeah. I think that's pretty important. And they put the whole thing up on video. So they'll, if you buy this bar for your car, this one's for the latest D-Max, by the way. Right. If you buy this bar for your car, you'll be able to jump online and fit it using their video instructions. Yeah, I'd like to see it on that x ring we had the, exactly. the other week. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a great product, it's a beautiful product and it's reassuring to know that there's still some great manufacturing being done in Australia instead of offshore. You know something else that I think we need to talk about and, and that is the bane of my existence, particularly when I'm out training, is using the tow assembly here as a recovery point for four-wheel driving, but in, importantly using this pin. Now the problem I have with these pins is that over a period of time, because they're mould steel, they rust. Yep. And trying to get the R clip out is impossible. So yep. Milford have thought about that. What have you got over there? So David, Milford's version of the old style pin, the bent piece of steel, yep. is this. Stainless steel. And that will never rust. The plastic end of it, never rust. Yep. And fits, as you'd expect, with Milford perfectly. Yeah, straight into the hitch um, there. And it's still got a traditional yep. R clip to, to close it off, yep. but it looks like it's stainless again. So that's fantastic. We'll never so, ever like have Like everything Milford do, and we've, we've seen this with, other, with their other products, and what we're looking at doing with them with some of our products, is they try and innovate with everything. Yep. They're not prepared to just build a tow bar. Yep. No and plagiarism this, going yep. on here. No, absolutely it's, not. So it's, it's, there's, all... there's a heap of time, effort and thought that's gone into this, and it's basically revolutionary. Yep. So, Steen, I've been using this old clanker for a number of years now, and I reckon today it's probably not legal. But tell me the story about the range of hitches that Milford so, offer so up look, as an accessory. Compare that to that again. Yep. So this is a Milford drop hitch. Yep. This is a 100 mil drop hitch. Yep. Now, this one, they can't rate with their tow bars. Right. So anyone using one of these should know that any tow bar you use a 100 mil drop hitch on... There's a reducing it's, value. ...you're going to reduce the rate on right. your tow bar. And, and that would all be because yeah. of the leverage that's being exerted exactly. on the point. Well, what Milford do do is they test. So this is a 75 mil drop lug, yeah. which you can buy separately to the, your, your tow bar for the new D-Max only at the moment. And obviously as the new cars and new bars come in, they'll roll this whole drop hitch availability out with each one. Yep. So there's a 75 mil and a 50 mil, both of which are available retaining the rating, in this case 3.5 tonne three or 3,500 kilos. kilos. Yep. With the and we know for a fact that Milford don't pull punches on this because yeah. they've got their uh, Dynalo testing facility at um, We've seen it in action yeah. at Camden Park, and it's an amazing facility. It does all sorts of yeah. rig testing on these things. So if they make that statement, it must be right. They basically test it from all angles, so downwards pressure, sideways pressure. Yeah. Shake the crap out of the car it's on. They break chassis. Do yeah. It. Yeah. Um, they, they basically test the destruction. Yep. Yeah. So that is Milford's Ultimate Tow Bar. You can find it on the Milford website, which is www.milford1.1. Sorry, that's it. You've yeah, got, the dot. got it.